They're not sending divers in there on any hunches or guesses. They are confirming those conditions and making sure that every safety precaution is being taken so we don't have another casualty out here on this site. It's dangerous, complex work happening in the Patapsco River along the Key Bridge collapse site. Thursday, that includes preparing to remove this portion of steel across from the dolly, in turn opening up a limited access channel. By the end of April, there'll be the opportunity to send about 80% of this port's traffic through to the port of Baltimore. The span laying across the front of the ship weighs about 5,000 tons. Right now they've removed about 100 of the containers on the ship, but they have more to go until they move to the next phase, and that is removing this massive piece of steel. The crew on board the Dolly is awaiting the next target date the end of May. That's when the ship will be removed and the entire channel should reopen. There's no breach of the hole. There's no breach of the internal tanks. What did happen is when the bridge collapsed and the truss on top of it, it severed, uh, you know, a big slice out of the front of the ship. For now, crews will continue to rig, cut and lift steel from the wreckage site with debris then taken by barge to Sparrows Point for processing and recycling. Along the Patapsco River, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News. We have the links and phone numbers you need to support the victims' families and to find financial help. It's in the WBAL TV app. Just tap news.